So let's continue looking at some of the basics of Python by looking at logical operators. We talked about mathematical operators, adding and subtracting. Now let's look at logical operators. And together with our logical operators, we can look at conditional statements, if then statements. So let's start with some basics. If you want to see if two variables, two numbers are equal, then it's x equals equals y. Okay, if you want to see if something is not equal, then we put an exclamation point right before the equal. So x not equal y is x exclamation part equals y. We have less than with the less than symbol. Remember that with a less than symbol and a greater than symbol, it bites the bigger number. So a less than symbol, this shows you x is less than y because the bigger mouth is biting the y. And a greater than symbol, if x is greater than y, then the mouth bites the bigger number, and here it's biting x. We can also do less than or equal to by adding in an equals after the less than symbol, and we can do greater than or equal to by adding an equals after the greater than symbol. So we can combine this with our condition statements to execute code when certain conditions are met. So for example, we could say that age equals five and then create a conditional statement that if age is greater than two, then it should print, so put out, the age is greater than two statement. So you could change the age number here and run the if age is greater than two, it would test it. And as long as the number you gave it was greater than two, it would output the statement, the age is greater than two. So that's an if statement using our logical operators. We can have an if else statement and it's the same as before. So we could specify the age equals a number and then if age is greater than five, print the age is greater than five. But then we add to it an else statement. So if the age is not greater than five, then what do we do? Here we're telling it, and I'll just move my face that's covering it up, print age is less than or equal to five. So you're telling it what to do if the condition is not met, okay? So we can give a statement that says, if the condition is met, do something, and it can be to print or output something. It can also mean to do a calculation, give a number, uh, so you can specify. With if else, we say, if the condition is met, do one thing, and if the condition is not met, so else, then do something else. We can also have nested ifs, so we run multiple conditional tests. So here we could say age equals five, and then you're running a test. If age is greater than five, then print age is greater than five. Okay, then it's going to check. If the age is also greater than 10, then it's going to print and above 10. So we have two ifs nested within each other. So first check the first condition, if it's met, then we're checking the next condition. If it's not met, that second condition, if age is greater than 10, then do something else. So here we can see that we're simply testing if age is greater than five, and if age is greater than 10, it's gonna print out some additional statement. If age is greater than five, but it's not greater than 10, it's going to print out a statement that says it's less than 10. Okay, so we can nest our ifs. And the last one we're looking at here is if else, if, elif, else. So the idea here is that if the condition is met, we do one thing. If the condition is not met, then we do another check. And so then you can have a new thing done, otherwise something else. So you got three options here. So let's start with age equals five. We put in a number. It's gonna check and see if that age is greater than 15. If it's greater than 15, we're gonna print out the age is greater than 15. If age is not greater than 15, so else, it'll check and see if the age is greater than 10. If the age is greater than 10, so it didn't pass the first test, it wasn't greater than 15, but it did pass the second test, the age was greater than 10, then it's gonna print out that the age is between 10 and 15. If the age was not greater than 10, then we're gonna print out another statement here. So here's our else and state the age is less than 10. So you can see here we have three categories. Age is greater than 15, 
age is not greater than 15, but greater than 10. And then age is less than 10 based on our conditions. So if, and then else if, else is what we have here. All right, so let's take a look at how this works. All right, so let's look at it in Python. Just a reminder, if you're uh, working along with us in Python, go to drstephpowers.github.io slash BIA, and we are working on the appendix intro to Python. Click here, it opens in GitHub. Make sure you open uh, in Google Collab by clicking this button right here. And then make sure once you're there that you sign in and you save a copy, sign in on this side, save a copy here uh, so that you can amend and run the code. So let's see, let's specify an age. We'll start with five, we'll change it in a minute. If the age is greater than 10, we're gonna have it output that the age is greater than 10. It's in quotes, it's a string, we're gonna have it output that information. And so of course, age equal five is greater than two, so it says the age is greater than two. If we change this and make age one, so the if condition is no longer met, notice that nothing is outputted. It is now blank. So it wasn't more than two, so it didn't print out that the age is greater than two. And of course, you can try other numbers, right? So we know other numbers like six, is greater than two, so it'll output the age is greater than two. If else statement, so we tell it what to output if the condition is not met. So starting with our age being equal to five, it's gonna check and see is the age greater than five, okay? If it's greater than five, it's gonna print the age is greater than five. If it's not greater than five, it's gonna say the age is less than or equal to five. So we would run this. Notice that it says the age is less than or equal to five. Because we made our logical operator greater than, not greater than or equal to. So because it's only greater than and our age was five, it's checking to see if it's more than five. And it wasn't. If we try out a number that's more than five, you notice it now says the age is greater than five. So if you wanted to include five here, we would need to change this to have an equal sign here. And then of course you'd wanna change your statement too because you wanna say the age is greater than or equal to greater than or equal to, otherwise the age is less than five. So let's try that. We're going to start with an age of five. We're going to do our test. We can see here the age is greater than or equal to five because our logical operator included the equal to five and our number included five. To do a nested if, we have if age is greater than five, print the age is greater than five, and then check. So if it's more than five, then check if the age is greater than 10. If the age is greater than 10, then we're going to add an additional statement that says and above 10. If it's not greater than 10, so we have our if else, then we're going to print but less than 10. So let's try a run. Age equals 7 is the known amount. We run our test here. Our age is greater than 5, so it should print the age is greater than 5. Then it will check and see if age is greater than 10, which it's not because it's seven. So then it's gonna print but less than 10. The age is greater than five, but less than 10. Notice if we change this to 13, or 23, why not? And then run it. We get the age is greater than five and above 10. So we're checking both if statements uh, to provide that output. We have our if, else if else the statement here so if age is greater than 15 then print the age is greater than 15 if it's not greater than 15 then check and see if the age is greater than 10 if it is greater than 10 say the age is between 10 and 15. if it's not greater than 10 then print out the age is less than 10. so here we can start with age equals five we can run our else, if, else, 
And we see that five, of course, is not greater than 15. It is not greater than 10, so the age is less than 10. If we change this to, let's say, 25, it'll say the age greater than 15. Yes, the age is greater than 15. If we're somewhere in between, so let's try 12. It checks to see if the age is greater than 15. It's not, so then it checks to see if the age is greater than 10, which it is, and it says the age is between There we go. The age is between 10 and 15. If it's not turning out how you want it, make sure that you loaded it all in. Uh, and the order matters, right? So first we have to load in the age, then we can load in our conditional statement for the test. So you can change the values of the age to see different outputs. Let's try building our own. So can you provide a value for A and B? Then create a conditional test where if A is greater than B, then print out A is greater than B. Otherwise, check to see if A is equal to B and print A and B are equal. Change the values for A and B and run the conditional test again. So pause the video and see if you can build the conditional test to see if A is greater than B. And if it's not greater than, if A is not greater than B, can you test to see if they're equal? So how do we build that? If a is greater than B, A is greater than B, colon, we would want it to print out that A is greater than B. If A is not greater than B, we want to do an else if, because we want it to check, so this is a elif, and we want it to say, okay, elif, so just like we have here, check and see elif. What we want to know is, is A equal to B? So recall that that means that we have two equal symbols here. And now we have another colon and if they are equal, then we're going to have it print out uh, that A and B are equal. All right. Now, in order to run this, we need to give it some values for A. And we need to give it some values for B. So let's start off here where we have, we know that A is more than B. So it says A is greater than B, okay? What if B is greater? In this case, if A is less than B and A is not equal to B, notice it gives no output because we didn't tell it an else. If the conditions are not met, you can have it print out something else, that like, A is not greater than B and A is not equal to B. Since we don't have that, it didn't output anything. Notice here, if they are equal, it prints out that A and B are equal. So you just gotta think through, if this is met, then what? If it's not met, then what do we wanna see? And then do we have another alternative? Are you checking multiple conditionals? So you have nested ifs, or do you have multiple scenarios where it falls into different uh, equivalent categories?